Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. I had an idea for a chandelier that would require no electricity and would cost under $30, $40. Let's see if we can do it. Stay tuned. I am working with these remote control LED puck lights. Remote control is important. I have these plastic hanging balls. I don't know what you're meant to use them for, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm putting the fuzzier side Velcro onto the back of the LED light. And I plan to Velcro these LED lights inside the orb. And I think I'm just gonna do them as close to the top as possible. So I think I better start with that first. I think this will hold. If it doesn't, then I will come back with a hot glue gun, but I am simply placing one Velcro dot there, and then I'm gonna secure this. The reason I'm using Velcro is that I wanna make sure that I can replace these. I think that will work. Obviously, once they're installed, there's not gonna be any movement, so I don't think, I don't think that'll be a problem. I'm shaking it much harder than I will shake it if I'm installing it. I'm using these coffee filters just to keep these from rolling all over, and they actually work really well. I found this brass wire that seemed like it was a little bit sturdier, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. And I'm taking about a meter of wire. I'd rather have more wire than less, so I'll probably do a little bit more. All right, I've had a slight change of plan as far as the kind of design of this. The principle is staying the same, but I took out all the copper wires. I felt that they were a little busy and messy, and originally I was thinking I would put the wires through this copper piping, but then when I looked online, all of these kind of bubble chandeliers were much kind of lighter and airier than that. So I thought that having nine of these copper pipes kind of coming up from these very clear plastic balls would look just wrong. So instead, I have cut one copper pipe to 12 inches. I spray painted it white so it'll blend in with the ceiling. And I have replaced the wire with this nylon monofilament. Each strand holds up to six pounds, so that should be plenty of weight for these really light plastic balls. And then I'm putting all the strands of monofilament through the copper pipe. So that's where I am. I know that this is really hard to see, but what I have done here is I have used a bracket that you would normally use in an electrical light, and then I have gone ahead and I have divided all of my globes into three groups, so essentially a really short group, a medium group, and then a longer group, and I have tied each of those groups off onto this washer. So the washer is thin enough that it'll sit between the arms of the light pendant kit, <laughs> but it's also preventing the nylon, the thread, from coming through the pipe, obviously. So then I will screw this into the ceiling. This will go on top like that. And then I also have a ceiling cap that I'll use. So I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to install it, so I didn't record that process, but it turns out it was really easy. I was able to screw the pendant mounting hardware right into the stud, which meant there were no anchors, nothing like that required, and then the canopy goes right on top of it. The canopy is holding this decorative molding in place. It's sort of pinching it against the ceiling, and it took four screws, two into the stud, and then two really small ones to hold the canopy. It couldn't have been easier, so I am thrilled about that. When we leave, that'll be really easy to patch and paint over. The best part about it is that all it takes is one simple little remote control. All my lights turn on. This light fixture obviously isn't intended to give off a lot of light, although this is pretty bright. I just love the way it looks. It is not gonna look exactly like those glass bubble chandeliers that I was imitating. 
it's pretty close and again for under $50 no electricity required I am really pleased with the results so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a great day everyone